Interval is a front-endless platform for quickly building things like internal tools, local scripts, admin dashboards, and more, just by writing back-end Node.js code. We're in the code base for a fictional video platform called ViewTube, where I have a folder here called Support Tools. It has an index file where we import Interval's Node SDK, initialize it with our API key, and define our actions. Actions are what we call the tools you build with Interval, like a form for creating a user, migrating data, or moderating content. Let's build a form for creating a user. We'll give it a name and define the handler. Actions are just plain old async functions, which means you get access to the full power of your Node app. You can loop, conditionally branch, access shared functions, and so on. In this action, we need to collect two pieces of data, name and email. With interval, input is collected via IO methods. Here's how it's done. We'll await io.group, which lets you group multiple elements together on the screen. And we'll use two of interval's input methods, a text input for the name and an email input, which will automatically validate the email address for you. Okay, let's see what this looks like in the browser. We'll save our file, open up our terminal, and run our yarn command that starts our local development server. Once the server comes online, we see our create user action in our interval dashboard. Let's run it, and we see the name and email inputs on the screen. So what's happening here? Right now, the web UI has opened a connection to our backend script, which is awaiting input from the user. Think of it as a conversational node script. Your script asks for input, and the handler waits until input is received before continuing. Of course, we also need to write the user to the database. This is incredibly easy with Interval. You don't need to hook up a REST or GraphQL API endpoint or give us write access to your database. You can just use the ORM from your app. For us, that's Prisma. So we'll import Prisma and write the new user to the database. This is almost ready, but let's do one more thing. In a lot of production apps, you can't just write to the user's database. With YouTube, we need to create a default channel, subscribe them to notifications, and send some analytics events. And we need to do this for every new user. We already have a function that takes care of all of this in our code base. And since Interval also runs in our code base, we can just import that function in our script. Let's replace the Prisma call with our internal create user function and fill in the name and email. Uh-oh, we've got a TypeScript error. Our create user function requires a send welcome email prop. And this is another reason why building with Interval is so great as a developer. You get full type safety out of the box. Type safety, imported functions, version control, you don't get any of this with no code. Let's add a checkbox to the form so the user can decide whether to send an email. And then we'll add that to the create user function call. And now we're good to go. It's that easy. We didn't have to set up a new API endpoint or string together a bunch of automations between services. We can just use the code that the rest of our app uses. Let's go run it one more time. We'll put in a name and email. And there we've created our first user with this tool. This was a quick intro to Interval, but Interval is capable of so much more. You can display tables and markdown, send Slack and email notifications, customize the navigation. You can even create multi-step branching forms just with conditional statements. Interval easily scales from a handful of scripts to apps for your entire team. So check out our other videos, our website, or our documentation to learn more. Thanks for watching.